Hello, uh, this is uh, I Go Travel with uh, DonBarnett.com. If you want to see more videos and more places and more things like this, hit the subscribe button. Hang on to your hats. We are going to elevate in this video. Have you ever wondered about those uh, hot air balloons that uh, go way up in the sky? What holds them up there? I've heard they can't even steer them properly. Uh, what's the safety record like? Uh, I tell you, they are getting more popular. Did you know that in Canada, there are over 600 registered uh, hot air balloon festivals? Uh, they're uh, all part of a, a kind of the showcase of, uh, of bigger things like a farmer's market, music, dancing, uh, various demonstrations. They're, uh, they're kind of the highlight and the crowd drawer of uh, the whole show. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking uh, maybe we should uh, take a ride in one and just see what it's like. Come along, let's take a look. I have uh, gone up in the hot air balloon uh, several times uh, in places uh, in uh, California and Arizona that we just saw. Here uh, we are uh, uh, in a balloon uh, rising over the beautiful Canadian Rockies. Notice how slowly a hot air balloon rises. It gives you a time to really soak in the view and enjoy a unique and unforgettable uh, experience. I'll just uh, move the camera a little bit up and down the valley here. Uh, it's a great view from above. Uh, here we are on the descent. Uh, after about an hour or so, I'm usually ready to get uh, back to Earth. The descent is gradual and slow. Uh, sometimes the final uh, drop to the ground can be a little bumpy, but it's all part of the ride. I pointed my camera straight down over the edge of the basket. On the top uh, part of the picture, you can uh, see the rooftops of houses, so we were pretty high up. We are... Uh, going to uh, set down in a cemetery of all places. These balloons uh, ride the air currents, uh, so uh, steering them is really a kind of uh, hit and miss thing. Sometimes the pilot uh, who stands right beside you uh, in the basket uh, has radio communication with a person uh, down on the ground. Uh, that person on the ground uh, can then drive across country to where it looks like the balloon is coming down. Uh, steering a balloon uh, depends on uh, air currents and wind direction. Uh, landing often uh, can be a kind of uh, an iffy thing, uh, but uh, the pilots are uh, uh, pretty well trained and skillful and uh, usually land in the general area uh, where they would like to uh, land. Uh, wind is the enemy of a hot air balloon, uh, and uh, that's why if you take a ride on them, uh, you would uh, either ride early in the morning before the wind gets up, or uh, around sunset is another good time when the, the uh, winds seem to uh, subside a great deal. So the uh, pilots uh, pay attention to the wind times, and uh, it's just a, a great experience. <laughs> Here's a few photos in the Arizona sun. Nice day. Oh, there's that flame that uh, uh, they, that blasted off every once in a while. It was a little disconcerting. And just uh, look at the size of uh, these balloons. Uh, compare their size uh, with the buildings uh, that you can see below them. They are giants uh, by comparison. We were at uh, this balloon festival uh, below uh, desert skies. Balloon riding uh, became popular in North America when uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico started running festivals. The first one started in 1972 with about 50 balloons, uh, but today they run about 600. Meanwhile, other places have got into the act. They are quite common uh, in some places in, across Canada, uh, New Zealand, Turkey, African uh, countries, uh, and uh, throughout Europe. 
Originally, uh, balloons were sent aloft by heating hydrogen, but hydrogen was explosive kind of stuff. Uh, today, the balloons uh, use helium, which is more effective and much safer. Uh, the first uh, uh, balloon in the Western uh, world uh, did not send people up in it. Uh, the King of France uh, wanted prisoners to be the first to go to test the riding in the balloon. However, uh, it was finally decided to make the first passengers three animals, a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. When uh, these animals rode up into the air with no ill effects, it was time for humans to get on board. The Portuguese uh, were sending uh, unmanned balloons up uh, by the 1700s, and the French were running flights uh, with people aboard uh, in the late 1700s. However, balloons go much further back in history. The first known balloons were called sky lanterns, and the Chinese used them for uh, military surveillance and signaling. Balloon uh, pilots uh, need to know the direction of the wind, but sometimes up there uh, it is hard to tell which way the air is moving. One time I was with a guy uh, who uh, spit into the air to see which direction his saliva blew. He said uh, some pilots uh, sprayed shaving cream into the air. Uh, some threw wood shavings. Others uh, tossed uh, dried light flowers, uh, flower petals into the air. Uh, it is illegal to uh, toss things out of a balloon basket as long as it creates no harm or danger to people or property on the ground. Here we are uh, dangling uh, in the basket uh, below the big balloon. Uh, the baskets are not too big and there's really uh, no room to uh, sit down. Uh, everyone stands during the whole flight. It's not too big as you can see here. Uh, the baskets uh, uh, are wicker baskets. Uh, wicker uh, is uh, a material that is light, but it is uh, also uh, uh, strong and very durable. Uh, the actual uh, fabric material that make up the balloon uh, is uh, uh, often referred to as ripstop nylon uh, because it is both uh, very lightweight and very tear resistant. Let's uh, take a look at uh, just how they get these uh, big balloons uh, off the ground uh, and into the air. And then we'll take a quick look at the physics uh, behind what uh, keeps them up in the air. How do they get the balloons in the air? Well, the first step is to lay the basket on its side, as uh, you can see here, and attach uh, the uh, balloon itself to the basket. These balloons are very large, and it takes several people working to set them up. Here they uh, pull the uh, balloon out uh, from the basket, and uh, they are now blowing cold air from the atmosphere, unheated air, into the balloon to uh, fill up the balloon with air. And you can see the uh, air uh, moving in waves into the balloon parachute itself. Once they get enough air in the balloon, uh, they then turn on the uh, propane uh, heater and blow heated air into the uh, balloon to uh, help it to inflate even more. And here you can see the uh, balloon uh, has really started to inflate with the heated air. And this is uh, another uh, company, uh, another outfit uh, heating up their balloon. And uh, the hotter the air, hot air rises, it's lighter than normal air, and it eventually lifts the balloon up in the air, as uh, is happening here. And pretty soon the balloon is uh, almost upright and uh, almost ready to go. At some point they stop putting the hot air in. Here you can see flickers of the flame from the propane burners. And once it gets in the air, uh, they then uh, stop putting the hot air in 
and uh, people get ready to uh, get into the little basket and get ready for a ride up into the sky. Here they're still uh, shooting uh, uh, hot air up into the balloon to get it up there, but they don't want it to get away until they're ready to go with it. Uh, this was the first balloon we were watching. It shows uh, uh, they're uh, putting the, uh, they're heating the air inside the uh, balloon, just like the uh, red one was doing that we were watching. And we'll just see how this balloon uh, starts to uh, lift up in the air once the uh, heated air does its job. Now here we are, the, the balloon is going up in the air and you can see the basket starting to tilt uh, upward uh, vertically. And this is another balloon, almost ready to go. And these people are away. You can still see where they're uh, uh, heating up the uh, air because they want the balloon to rise. The warmer the air, the greater the rise. And they've all paid for a balloon ride and uh, it's uh, an exciting and a reasonably safe thing. Uh, how many people can go in a basket? Well, it depends on the size. It also depends on the weight of the people. And that's all calculated and figured out. Uh, uh, let's just watch a, a few balloons. Uh, part of the excitement and interest was uh, uh, seeing all of the different colors and designs on the balloons. Down at the lake. There's more going up yet, Don. Mm -hmm. Each one was uh, unique and... Uh, had its own color and uh, geometric uh, pattern on it. A hot air balloon is uh, basically a relatively simple machine. It uh, is comprised of three basic parts. The envelope, the burner, and number three, the basket. Going back to number one, the envelope holds the air Number two, the burner heats the air. And number three, the basket carries the passengers. Uh, here's a, a closer look at some of the balloons uh, that I photographed as they uh, sailed uh, overhead and moved around slowly, uh, riding the wind currents. Uh, the, but the design and the color was just great. A hot air balloon does not have a rudder or a steering wheel or a propeller to help it change directions. It basically either goes up, rises, or it descends or goes down. <coughs> In order for the pilot to either go up or down, if he wants to go up, then he turns on the propane burner and heats the air, and the heated air causes the balloon to rise. If he wants to come down, there is a vent near the top of the balloon, and he can open that vent. And when the vent opens, the hot air escapes and the balloon descends. Because there is no steering wheel, the balloon is dependent entirely upon the wind and uh, sometimes air currents that it catches going up or down. Uh, all of uh, this means that uh, where you start off with the uh, balloon uh, seldom is the exact same place where you return because of the uh, inconsistencies of uh, having the ability to only go up or down in the balloon. Uh, here you can see the people in the baskets in these balloons uh, that are high above us. Uh, balloons, uh, on rare occasion, uh, have got caught up in power line wires. Uh, but like any uh, thing human, accidents do occur once in a while. Fatalities are rare, uh, partly due to the slow moving of the balloons. And the uh, balloon itself uh, can sometimes act as a form of uh, parachute. Uh, parachutes for passengers are not carried as they are cumbersome uh, and really not necessary. Uh, in the U.S., only well-trained and certified pilots 
uh, can operate a, a hot air balloon. Uh, and, and these balloons fly only in good weather. And uh, uh, that is uh, uh, when the wind is low at times of either early morning or at sunset. Uh, by the way, if uh, you don't want to spend so much money and go on a, uh, let's say, an hour to a four-hour balloon ride, uh, you can uh, sometimes, uh, they uh, offer what they call a tethered ride, where the balloon is uh, uh, tethered with a long, long rope. And uh, you can ride uh, that up in the air, uh, above any buildings, and it's on a rope and it doesn't uh, go uh, horizontal then and pushed by the wind. And after you go up vertical, uh, they let some of the hot air out of the balloon and down you come and pulled back to the rope at the landing pad. Uh, here's a few unique uh, designed balloons like this uh, skull and uh, this character here. Uh, there were a few others. Uh, the, the green monster was another big balloon and one in the form of a bottle. And uh, uh, another partner balloon was this guy here. Well, uh, you might say that this video uh, had more uh, hot air than usual. Uh, but if you'd like to see uh, more, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, that'll tell you when we're coming back and that'll help us uh, bring more uh, travelogues uh, onto the airwaves. So, okay, until then, uh, keep your feet in the ground. Unless you get a chance to take a ride in one of those uh, big hot air balloons. This is I Go Travel with DonBarnett.com. So long for now. We'll see you in the next video.